Hey guys, Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today is another traditional speed paint, and I'm using watercolors. This is the Reeves 18 Artist Color Set. These are true paints. As you can see, I have a palette with me on the paper. Um, I'm using Canson 200 GSM watercolor pad, and that's pretty much it. So what we're doing today is sort of a continuation, or you could say that it's a variation of a theme I did a week or two ago based on the Vocaloid song Drop Pop Candy, which was originally sung by Kagamine Rin and Nagorine Luka. But the cover that I'm doing, or, or the, rather the piece that I'm doing is based on of the cover of Kaito and Meiko. So really, ever since I drew that, or while I was drawing that, the first one with Kaito, I already knew that I wanted to do a second piece based around the same theme like a counterpart and I want it to somehow reference each other and be a bit similar. You'll see in the end that it's not too similar but I used more or less the same colors. I kept with the pastel-ish theme to it but it's just meant to complement each other. This is also because I draw Kaito a lot. I very, I very rarely finish the ones that I draw for Meiko. Usually it gets stuck at the sketch stage and then I don't finish it. So, I'm here to remedy that. So the plan for this drawing was to keep the warmer and more eye-catching colors on Mako this time. Since it is the counterpart to the very warm and pastel-y version of Kaito, where I kept the blues and the cooler tones on Kaito. This time I'm keeping more of the warmer tones on Mako and making everything else cooler. So her dress is red, it's a very nice little dress with a little ribbon and some lace. And my main problem became with this dress is that I didn't really know what accent color I wanted to use. Originally, I was thinking of something like a warm gold or some form of orange, but I felt that it would draw too much attention and Brown was out of the topic since I used it for the hair and the shoes already. So I ended up using this Paints Gray and um, Ultramarine Blue mix. So I just mixed the tubes of Paints Gray and Ultramarine to get this bluish dark blue. No, no. To get this dark blue color. And personally, I do think that it did balance out the reds and the warm colors quite well. The umbrella is this nice pastel blue. This is to keep in with the reference thing to the other piece. In the Kaito version, if you've watched it, you know that I made the umbrella red. And that was in preparation for this piece. I apologize if you see my head a lot in this video. I think the camera placement was a bit wrong. It may have been a bit higher up than I usually keep it. So, even though it's pointing down like usual, it was a bit zoomed or neither no. I had to lean in since the pad was a bit far. And it's a bit, it's a long pad. It's 9 by 12 ish. So, in order for me not to screw up drawing the umbrella or coloring in the hair, I had to lean in a bit. And I forget that the edge of my desk is the border between the camera or it's the bottom border of the camera so I might need to find a different configuration for the camera uh, I might even I might experiment with doing the side angle ish view so I do like the top down one since it doesn't screw up with the perspective but we'll see I'll I'll do a recording with the side view thing, see how that works out. If not, I need to find a way to prevent my head from poking in so much. Yes, I know Mako's eyes are brown, but I wanted to keep them red this time. It also to tie in the red dress a bit more, so that's that. So if you see me lifting the pad, 
I'm actually checking the older piece, the Kaito one, to see what colors I used for certain things and to double check if I used the right colors. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding the background. Um, it's it's a mix of white and a lot of Taylor blue. So I wanted it to be very washed out and to look a little bit like water actually. Water dripping off a wall basically. So right now, the umbrella and the blues of Mako's dress is sort of blending out or blending in rather with the wall. So what I did to remedy that is I added in a purple or violet rather. I added in a violet or purple. Damn it. What color is that? That has red so that's a violet. That's a purple. Yeah. So I'm adding purple in to sort of balance it out. It's to differentiate the umbrella and make herself from the wall, and it makes makeup pop out even more. Amazing the things that washes, watercolor washes can do. What, and what I'm doing now is I'm adding the Thilo blue mixture to the, the very bright window. This so that it won't catch as much attention and it would sort of take a step back into the background more. So this part is super sped up. I should have just cut it actually, but at least you'll see. In the Kaito version, I added in like vines to fill up the space or to balance out the picture. And I didn't want to keep that space under the window blank as well since it would be weird that the other side has vines and the other one doesn't have any form of design. So I decided to do this triangular water drop design thing. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, but hey, it's a cute thing, so might as well. What I'm doing is I'm adding some of the pink reddish tinge to the blue parts of her dress. This that it ties in with everything else and it's not too... Um, it doesn't pop out too much. So the key here is to keep things more or less tied in together, so you, that's achievable by adding a very light wash of a certain color on top of another color. So for example, with that dark blue, added in a wash of red so that it ties in with the purple of the background and the red of the dress. So you can see here I'm using the same color bricks. It's this mix of um, Shen... Is that burnt Shenna? No, that's... What color is that? That's a mix of brown and... Um, ochre. I'm using, yeah, that's a mix of burnt umber and yellow ochre, the bricks. So later you'll see that I will add a blue wash to it so that it's not too bright. Now I'm adding the, what color is that? Yeah, I'm using the blue and the purple on the dress so that it would tie in with everything else as well. One thing I would caution against doing that is that the colors may become murky, so make sure that your wash is really light or don't layer too many colors over each other. Unless you're going for realism then, I guess that's fine. But So here's what I'm talking about. I am layering over the ultramarine in and paint spray mixture on top of the yellow ochre burnt umber one. So it looks nicely together. So these are my pet artist pens. I did this as well in the Kaito version. This to add more definition to some parts that the paint needs to be.
actually I'm adding in some white highlights just to give it a little bit more detail and I hope you guys enjoyed maybe like maybe even subscribe if you enjoy this I do a lot of fan art and character designing on this channel it's a mix of digital and traditional art as well please follow me on Pumbu Instagram DeviantArt and I'll see you around. Yeah.